point, um, Mr. Trudeau told you personally that he called you about the uh, He's very candid, uh, very forthcoming. Uh, he uh, regretted uh, what happened. Uh, and, but I told him uh, I've worked with him. I know him personally. Uh, I've uh, sat with him at the cabinet table. I sit with him at the cabinet table. Uh, he is. tell him what it could mean to some people? No, I understand uh, how uh, difficult this is for many people. Uh, and then I said to him, look, uh, I know that you are a champion of diversity, that you care about people. Uh, and I know there's no one that I know, at least, that's champion diversity and inclusion uh, like Justin Trudeau. And that's why it's a privilege for me to be part of his team and to be part of his campaign. Do you feel, I mean, you you and every other candidate has put a professional name and, and, and career on the line for him. Do you feel duped by him? I mean, it's put your election chances further at risk. Do you feel like you were misled by the Prime Minister? I have a lot of respect for him. I think this moment demonstrates that he was very candid with Canadians. He was very sincere. He wasn't. He was caught. He, he was very sincere. He, he was very sincere in his regrets. When he was caught. But it's, it's a leadership, uh, it's a le leadership attribute uh, to take responsibility. Once he took talking, responsibility, unlike leaders. other leaders who haven't taken responsibility. But more importantly, he's engaging Canadians around a broader conversation. And I'm, I'm part of a very diverse cabinet. I'm part of conversations where we put forward anti-racism uh, policies. Uh, we're part of a government that promotes LGBTQ2 rights. So I'm very proud to work with him, and I know what he stands for. He's a person that truly champions diversity and inclusion. Is it, is it there 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 photo that there could be other photos out there that he can't say definitively if there are any other incidents that may come to light? So I can't speak to what does I don't that, know. Does that worry you? Yeah. I think he's been very candid, very forthcoming with Canadians. Uh, and as you heard today, we're focused on measures to help middle class families to demonstrate that we're focused on investing in middle class families. And in Ontario here, I hear when I go door knocking, and trust me, I got my running shoes on. So right after this event, I'm going to be knocking on doors. And what I hear from Canadians is the fact that they're concerned by the cuts that they're seeing in Ontario. And they're looking for a forward-looking, progressive government and a party that's going to focus on their concerns and their anxieties. And that's what I'm going to be doing. You right say he's black face or brown face? No. Uh, this is the first time, and of course, like many Canadians, I was shocked. Mr. Baines, how can you say he's being candid? You use that word so many times when he can't say whether he's worn blackface since 2001 in recent memory. He's been up here speaking to reporters, to Canadians about this issue, he's taking many questions. Uh, and answer. like I said, I've worked with him very closely. I've known him for many, many years. He truly is a champion when it comes to diversity and inclusion. I know what it means to sit with him at the cabinet table when it comes to fighting for those that are falling through the cracks, that are less fortunate. Uh, and it really is an honor and privilege to work with him, and that's why I have confidence in him and his leadership.